Okay, hi, welcome back to school today. So this week earlier, you guys were learning about making inferences, but it was with literature, so fictional type of um, stories. So today and for a couple of days, we're going to work on making an inference, but this time we're using nonfiction text. So articles, everything full of facts and things that can be proven. So nonfiction text this um, for the remainder of the week. Okay, so as a review, it's kind of the same setup for literature. You take what the text gives you, plus your schema, what you know. So experience, your background, things that you've experienced in life, things that you've read, things that you've studied, things that you now know, that will allow you to make an inference. So again, taking what's ever printed in the article or the, um, the book, plus what you know, you can then make an inference, so a good guess, okay? So you might see a sentence stem like this that can help you to think through um, how to make a good inference. So it says, the text says blank. This makes me think that, okay? So I might fill this in with something like, hmm, the text says animals' fur changes color in the fall. This makes me think, or this makes me infer that if the animal's fur didn't change color, it may get eaten by a predator. Okay, so now I know that because my new background knowledge that I've learned in science the last couple of weeks, that in, in certain species, they have a structural advantage and their fur color will change color to help them blend in or camouflage with their new environment as the seasons come and go, okay? So again, the text says, animal's fur color or animal's fur changes color in the fall. This makes me think or infer that animal's fur, that if the animal's fur didn't change color, it may be seen and then eaten by a predator. So again, I'm taking what I've learned in science. That's my new schema. That's now what I know. Okay. And the author tells me in the, in the printed text that the animal's fur changes color in the fall. And so I can now infer, hmm, I bet if that animal's fur didn't change color, it would probably get eaten because it's no longer able to camouflage itself. Okay. All right, you guys. So that's an example of how you can make an inference using nonfiction text. So again, take the text, the words from the author, plus your schema, what you've already learned, and then make a good inference. Okay. All right. Thanks for being here at school today. You guys are doing awesome. Okay. See you tomorrow.